In this video, we'll look at the charge on carbon, C. We're going to look at the ionic charge on carbon. That's the charge that carbon would have when it formed ions and bonded with other elements ionically. So we can look at the general trend for the periodic table here. Elements in group 1, they form ions that are 1 plus. Group 2, they'll form ions that are 2 plus. We skip the transition metals. Their charges can vary 3 plus and 4 plus or 4 minus and so on. Carbon is right here in group 14. So we would expect it would have a 4 plus or a 4 minus ionic charge when it bonded with other elements. That means it would either lose 4 electrons, become 4 plus, or gain 4 electrons to become 4 minus. The thing is that carbon, it doesn't form ionic bonds, or it's very rare for carbon to form ionic bonds. It normally forms covalent bonds with other elements where it shares electrons, and we don't think about charge. If we looked at the periodic table with a little more detail, we can see that the elements that are visible, they'll always have this ionic charge. When they bond, they will form ions with these charges here. Carbon right here, it's grayed out, and that's because it really doesn't form the ionic bonds so that we really don't talk about ionic charge when we talk about carbon. Do note that we can talk about oxidation numbers when we're looking at redox reactions with carbon, but oxidation numbers, they're different than ionic charge. This is Dr. B with the charge, the ionic charge for carbon. C. Thanks for watching.